Alright. Call this one a moonshine. Moonshine. <laughs> Just it. What we're doing here, Captain Sean, is just yeah. getting the fillet in the bonito, which is a type of a tuna. And the reason why he said we use two, this type of fish is because it's a lot of blood and it gives off a lot of scent as bait. Meat also tends to be fairly tough, so it stays on fairly well when you're fishing. Oh, okay. Just on the northwest side of Trinidad, so these are the islands of Trinidad here, all the way around. And then on the other side over here is good old Venezuela. That is Venezuela, all the way here. I've seen people fishing, so we double hook them. We're using circle hooks, which are. Fish tend to hook themselves, so. Oh, so we don't need to feel it. Less, yes, they, they they actually hook themselves when they move away and they hook um, secured in the corner of their mouth. So oh, they okay. actually, it's a lot so better than... What Sean know. is saying is pretty much fishing for dummies today, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and I believe we're in about 200 feet of water right now. 153. Tail, yeah, we've anchored in 200 to yeah. tail off the, the ledge, the oh, shallow okay. part of the ledge. Oh, okay. Yes. So there's a science behind this. Yes. So the big guys sit down in the deep and they come up to feed on the to ledge. Feed on, on the ledge. Oh, okay. In the and if all fails, there's a fish market somewhere around, right? Right, correct. <laughs> there's a fish market. See, top of the road there is already set at uh, top, 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 top. So it's uh, the key to that something's Small. feeding. Smaller fish. Smaller guys always come around for this. Crank it, crank it. It's getting harder now. Right, oh, yep. Mm, maybe you can't handle a right fish. <laughs> How heavy would that be? Excuse? How heavy is that? I would say it's about probably two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds? Yeah, two and a half okay. pounds per pound. Jack Crovalli. Just look at the bend in the rod, right? Just, okay, just hold, like, watch the hook now. Make sure that hook doesn't slip through your hand. Yeah. Hold it very tight so it doesn't shake up. Him. You can pull him and pull him overboard, yeah, no one. Alright. Nicely done. You're just following me now, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, take a little rest. Well done, well done. Yeah, <laughs> that one was tough. Yeah, it's a little deep also. I believe this may be a stingray. <laughs> a stingray. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because it's fighting back slowly but surely. Oh goodness. Big stingray. <laughs> <laughs> Is it coming up? You see anything yet? It's not it's not bouncing. It's either stingray or it's, it's rubbing on something. It's, it's feeling really weird because you're getting some line. I think it's rubbing on something like rope or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. It not. won't be the uh, anchor, eh? No. The anchor's to the front. Yeah. So, but it's rubbing on something. There's, Probably some oil anchor rope. It's 
kind of probably need to do this Is the anchor aiming straight down? No, I can't tell. You shouldn't be on the anchor. Not under the boat, right? Oh, yeah. It's weird. It's probably stuck. Probably anchor or something. So it's not coming up at all, eh? Rubbing on something. That one is looking slack. Are you getting any resistance? No. I don't know if it's rubbing on this line. Could you wrap that and see? Yeah. But speaking about charter, that is something you do on a, on a part-time basis, right? Yes, yes. So if somebody want to charter you, how do, do they get in contact with you? Um, normally through WhatsApp or um, through Messenger. Through Facebook. Messenger. You Messenger. mind saying your number at all? 724-9479. Mm. And that's 868, right? 868. So if you're coming into the country or you're in the country and you want to book something, just hear you out on WhatsApp, right? Yep. Nice. No problem. <laughs> and so far, so good. Place. I've caught the biggest fish and I've caught the first fish, so... He'll Don't even get in my camera, lady. <laughs> so we've changed. Fisherman. <laughs> yeah. The tails, eh? the tails. Eh? Excellent, excellent. We've changed You're location. A yeah, it is beautiful over there, but the waves are just crashing. Let's see if we can zoom in and there we go. It is beautiful over there. But we've changed position because the croakers were just killing the bait, man. They're pesky. They're like perch in Lake Ontario and, and, and fishing in Ontario, anyways. Fish don't have much skills at all, so. We're just scaling them. Pretty much just a scrape it, right? Because there's no skills, right? Yes, they're, they're very fine skills of any. Yeah. Similar to kingfish or curry. Yeah. King mackerel or Spanish mackerel, yeah. Down in the goats. So that's how you got a gill. Yes, cut around there. Yeah. Cut down on either side in front of the gills and yeah. cut down the center and cut through the stomach. Well, this is a little tricky on the moonshine because it's very narrow yeah. and there's a very hard bone there. So you tend to do it more to the side. Yeah. You can't cut through. Try to get everything out. It'll be a le less gruesome if I take it this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get my 
slide down inside. Mm -hmm. He's just rinsing it out, man. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show Very important when cleaning as you know to make sure you get out that bloodline. The bloodline on the inside. Uh, on the inside along the spine. That's actually where the entire uric system runs. So okay. You get a very bitter taste along that spine if you don't you remove that piece of white flesh covering the bone and then you see that red line there, that blood yeah. line. Okay. Try <laughs> nice deep scores to get that seasoning in. Yeah. And I'm just put a little cut down the back. Too. So I will put seasoning down in there just to okay. add it to the mat. So that's one. Nice. That's good. Thanks. Okay. Just come to this bay now. Here's where we're gonna cook the fish and have a little swimmy swim up here. Smoker, so we've got the. Well, it's not offset actually. It just pulls out to to start the fire. Push it in, go in there. Man, but you gotta love. <laughs> you gotta love the backdrop, boy. Got action now. We got that smoke happening. I remember it's all charcoal fire and the fish and the parcels there. You gotta love the surroundings, boy. I keep saying it. Listen to that wave that's crashing down there. Still frozen, eh? Yep, still frozen. Though. So what Chef is doing now? Well, Captain Chef. <laughs> he has a, a herb butter brought with him. And he's just brushing it onto the fish. Now remember that fish was seasoned and marinated for the past, I don't know, about half an hour or something. It's fresh yes. out of the ocean. You guys saw us caught it earlier today. We're swimming a while ago. Swimming a while ago and <laughs> swimming in my belly pretty soon. <laughs> it's looking good and it's smelling good, man. Yep. Uh -huh. Look at that, people. Let's see how it gets. We got some Yeah, it's breaking up oh, yeah, that, I think that's okay. Yeah, nice and flaky. Look at that. Yeah, the other one I think is too much on the... Grab a fork. Oh, is it? Mm. oh yeah, I just... 
Put your fish on a bag of ice to keep Captain it Sean, fresh. thank you so much for having us. It was my pleasure. What's the number again? The phone number? 1-868-724-9479. Wonderful. So you guys, if you guys want to do some wicked fishing, I can't promise the whole fish and cook thing, but <laughs> fishing at least and we toward the islands, that. man. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, eh? Have a good day. Thank I really you. enjoyed having you.